Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by XD LOL Smiley Face. I stopped breathing after running into a door sized window at a supermarket. But what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit where killer meme star 3 posted this. What's the worst place you have laughed uncontrollably? Walmart. There were two stalls in the back bathroom. I had to take a huge shit and ran in. Before I could comfortably let it all loose, another guy runs in and takes the stall next to mine. So we're both trying to be quiet poopers when the guy next to me finally whispers to himself before letting out a little squeak of flatulence, which made me giggle really hard and made me defecate with a flatulent pop. It was quiet for like one and a half seconds and then both me and the guy in the next stall started laughing uncontrollably while shitting and letting the most undescribable sounds leave our asses for what it must have been a good minute or two. After it was over, there was awkward silence of paper being torn and applied gently. And then we realized we were both done, but neither of us actually wanted to meet. So he just says, you first. So I left the stall, washed my hands. And as I left the bathroom, I heard his stall open. I never looked back, but I think about it often. Too long didn't read a guy and I pooped while laughing in a bathroom at the same time. When I was 20, I moved to North Carolina to live with my boyfriend at the time. I'd come from a fairly active church background, so my boyfriend, wanting me to feel at home, decided to take me to a quaint church in the backwoods just outside of town. The congregation was divided by gender, men on the right, women on the left. The pastor greeted me and made a huge deal about how he was happy to make an exception to allow me to sit with my boyfriend on the men's side since it was my first time attending. So, I did. It was a fire and brimstone straight out of a movie, big tent revival, evangelical church. The pastor was yelling and stomping and shouting about how the media and TV was corrupting our children and how we should close our eyes to worldly sin or forever forfeit our right to the kingdom. It was intense. He was jumping and pointing and spit was flying as he preached. And then he locked eyes with me while saying, so I say yes. I say, Lord, get SpongeBob and his little friend out of my house. Get them out, dear Lord, for I will not let my babies bear witness to their sin. And I lost it. I could not contain myself. I buried my face in my hands, then in my boyfriend's shoulder, but I couldn't stop. And I was shaking uncontrollably. The men around us thought I was touched by the service and they all laid their hands on me in prayer, which made it much much worse. And when I finally got myself under control, I had tears of laughter streaming down my face. We never went back. Went to a friend's church when I was 20 and at one point of the service, people started standing up sharing their struggles. Lots of tears, really somber mood. A lady in front of me stands up and she's ugly crying, snorting, sniffing, voice cracking and squeaking. And it struck me as funny. I started giggling, so I bent over in the pew to make it look like I was crying. My redneck friend sitting beside me started patting my back and rubbing my shoulders comfortingly, which made it even funnier. And I started belly laughing, but all bent over, covering my face. It looked like I was absolutely falling apart. And trying to hold it in, I started to make my own weird gasping, snorting sounds. My friend never knew until years later when I was telling the story at a party. When the small turbo prop plane hit a really bad turbulence and dropped a bit, ladies screamed, children cried. I was laughing hysterically. Wife was unimpressed, which of course made the laughing worse. 10 out of 10. My best friend's father died and we kind of stopped talking for a while. I don't think I'd seen her in almost a year. Well, as we go down to hug and say hi to the family, I noticed it is the same thing over and over. I'm sorry for your loss. If you need anything, I'm always here for you guys. Well, I knew she was tired of hearing it. As I walked up, I hugged her and whispered in her ear, I just farted. 
With tears in her eyes, she laughed uncontrollably. Still mentions that moment from time to time. I can relate to this one. I was losing it at my mom's funeral at the end when everyone goes by saying sorry and such. My friend was crying and she hugged me. Accidentally gave a pig sounding snort in my ear that we both instantly start giggling about. That made dealing with the rest of the procession of people offering condolences that little bit easier. My boss gave a talk to a squad of disabled athletes in wheelchairs. And not only did he say that it's important to put your best foot forward, but he also said a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. <laughs> I had to leave the room. <laughs> At my roommate's father's funeral, extremely depressing because his father took his own life. However, there was an old fella in attendance who let out the slowest, <laughs> clappiest fart of all time. I couldn't help myself. I was in the middle of a lecture at school and I was reading Reddit on my phone under my desk. I came across a post that went something like, what would be the scariest conspiracy if it were true? Lost it at, JFK's head just did that. Was getting into the hearse on the way to my grandma's funeral. My sister had pulled out her phone, opened Pokemon Go and was in the process of catching a Charizard next to the hearse's driver's door. She noticed me staring looked me dead in the eye and solemnly said, gotta catch them all. Friend's sister came in and in a serious tone said, Disco is dead, which made me chuckle. Then she told me, Disco was a person. I didn't know this. I hit that awkward hysterical laughter and had to leave. My friend forgave me. His sister, understandably, not so much. In an elevator full of people, it was my first time being baked in public. I'm a medic. During a cardiac arrest, we're in the back of the truck working the guy and the ambulance suddenly fills with a terrible smell. My partner says, I think the patient just voided his bowels. Wow, that's awful. Me. No, I just farted. We both started laughing horribly and the guy driving the rig for us, a firefighter from one of the local departments, had no idea what was going on. We kept doing our job, but I'm glad no family was around for it. There is a neighbour boy that my son and I absolutely hate. I know he's a kid, but I hate him with a deep, adult hatred. I genuinely believe he's a sociopath and has a future of crime and or douchebaggery ahead of him. He choked my son in front of me, lied about it to me, and then when I talked to his parents about it, they just said, well, that's not what he told us happened and there's two sides to every story. So, you know there's no hope for this kid to be put on the right path. Anyway, there was a neighbourhood kickball game in my yard one day and I'm monitoring because this kid showed up and he was constantly cheating and bullying the other kids and I was waiting for enough to happen to justify kicking him out. I was just standing up to walk over and tell him to leave because he was trying to claim he tagged a kid with the ball when he hadn't. When my son picked up the ball, fired it at this little asshole's face with the accuracy of a missile launch and yelled, stop cheating, this is why no one likes you. This kid's head snapped back hard and he toppled to the ground. He looked at me, clearly wanting me to dish out some punishment, but I was literally in tears laughing at the little douchebag's comeuppance. I know the right thing to do here, and I did none of it. For context, me and my friends from TV school would watch lots of really bad movies and laugh at them. We were in class and the teachers were showing us examples of commercials shot by previous students. This one comes on and it has the worst acting I've ever seen. It was a bowling commercial where you can see some average working Joes stuck at work all through the week. But then it's the weekend and we see a bowling alley and people getting strikes. So clearly it's a commercial for bowling. Then we see the actors. They are talking and standing so awkward. It was the most terrible acting I've seen. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I bursted out loud laughing at it. Apparently I was very loud about it. While I'm laughing, the graphic comes up for what the ad is for. Special needs bowling. Everyone looks at me like I'm a horrible person. I was literally just laughing at special needs people. All the instructors in the course were in the room too. 
they stopped the commercial and gave a long talk about how serious special needs is in front of the whole class, even though it was clearly just me. Honestly, I blame whoever was making that commercial. The way they framed the commercial is an average working Joe waiting for the weekend so he can let off some steam and go bowling. Nothing in the ad gives any hints at all that it's for special needs until the very last second. But I'm the jerk! Have you ever laughed somewhere you shouldn't have done? Let me know in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who knocked themselves out? It was... A kid. I looked at the automatic doors to the shop, then yelled, No! I want to use this one! Then ran head first into the window and stopped breathing for about a minute. Did you guess right? At first I thought, who goes to the supermarket drunk? This has to be a kid. And then I remembered people are stupid and changed my mind to a drunk. I'm so stupid. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.